Hey guys, welcome to CR Interior Designer is Chetan here and in this video we are going to do creative hard surface model. So now let's get started. To make this model you need to open your blend file and then add a cylinder and vertex should be 12. Then you go to edit mode and delete the bottom words and then move it to the 3D origin. So that's why you can use the move tool otherwise you can snap it to the 3D cursor. Like this. Then you need to duplicate it and for that the shift D and just uh, place the uh, keep the distance in between those uh, cylinders and then insert this and then you need to select these edges and then press F to fill the gaps in between them like this and then you need to add 3 loop cuts like and then set the origin to the geometry and snap it to the 3D cursor and then you need to add a lattice because we want to deform it so that's why you need to add a lattice make sure you don't use the edit mode of the lattice while adjusting that first upon the according to the shape of your object then you need to select your mesh and then add a lattice modifier right there and then select that lattice in that lattice modifier then you need to increase the resolution of your lattice and then you need to go to the edit mode and select these words and deform it just you need to move them along the z axis so just move them along the z axis and you can easily deform your mesh and then you need to select your mesh and then apply the slightest modifier and then delete the lattice. You don't need it. Now, then you need to select this outer edge of your mesh and then and the as well as the inner edge of the cylinder and then extrude along the Z axis like this. And then you need to select these faces and then press F to fill the gap in between them. Just select these two edges and then press F and then select one edge and then press F F F F F like this. And now the task is creating a good topology. So just you need to select the spaces and press and then fill the gaps. And now you need to add the loop cuts like this. Make sure you add the loop cuts in a proper manner because the right topology is important here. Just need to give a little bit of attention there. So you can use the symmetry. And now you can see I have created the topology like this. And then add three loop cuts and then fill the gaps like this. Select these edges and then press F and then fill the gaps and then select this face loop and then extrude this face loop along the Z axis and you can see we got this kind of shape and then use the scale to scale it along the Z axis and give the value 0 so you can flatten it and now it will look pretty well decent and here add a loop cuts and select these faces and then press I to insert you can add loop cuts before that more if you want that you can use the loop tool which is there in the add-on and make sure you enable that loop tool and then select these faces and right click and loop tool and then select the circle option which is there in the loop now you need to scale them along the x and y axis not in I guess uh, I guess that's the x and z axis not in the y axis Ok then one more time insert them and delete these faces and now just you need to create this select these loops and then use the lock tool which is there in the loop tool and as well as you can use the bridge edge loop option there is after right clicking select your edges and then just fill this gap with the help of lock option which is there in the loop tool otherwise with the bridge edge loop. then select these faces and then you need to use the extrude along the normal so just extrude them along the normal and give the proper values. Select these faces and then one more time extrude them along the Z axis. And now it's our time your creativity part. How you tweak your geometry, your mesh, that's important. So just add a loop cuts. I'm keeping it simple, you can go to the next level. So just add a loop cuts. And now just you need to add the supporting loop cut, supporting geometry because we will use the subdivision surface modifier and which will add more geometry on it so to make it smoother that's why you need to add more loop cuts wherever it's necessary to tight these edges because we are creating the hard surface model and as, you, as in the name or in this hard surface the edges should be tight the geometry should be sharper like this so just add a loop cuts wherever it is necessary and 
and you can use this kind of models in your mechanical box mechanical parts so just select these faces and then e to extrude just add a loop cut like this this is also one method you don't need to add the loop cuts manually there and so you can just select these faces and extrude them and you can add the subdivision of this modifier and its level should be 2 and then add a loop cuts wherever it's necessary and you can see the weirdness we are getting right there which is uh, in that particular hole because that happens because of the face orientation is not right at there and some edges are overlap so you need to delete the faces like this so just select these faces and delete them and we are going to recreate the new faces at there to see the process you will understand what's happened there you can see i am i have deleted that face loop here also because of that sometimes this happens so just select these faces and sorry select this edge loops and then press uh, right click and then reach edge loop which is there otherwise you can use the lock tool also that's also good and then see the face orientation or you can press alt n or there is a option you can see the face orientation if the red is then uh, alt n and you will get the recalculate normal option so just see the right face orientation and add a loop cuts like this to make your geometry more good and now that's look pretty well decent kind of modeling we have done here now we will add little bit more detail on it so just i have added one loop cut here and use the loop tool and make it circle and then scale it down like this so then you need to select this edge loop also and you can add make sure little bit of distance there because we want to extrude that so that's why so just scale it down like this and then select this face Face loop and then E to extrude. You can select the from the back side also, and then E to extrude and just create a simple kind of design right there. You can see from the top view also, so you will get the understanding of how it should be extrude. So it's a design thing, and you can see your face looks pretty well. Decent kind of hard surface modeling we have done. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then hit the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.